Fireblocks prepares for bull market by adding new executive after new CFO hire. Chief Marketing Officer Michael Ferguson joins from cybersecurity platform Snike, following the appointment of new CFO Michael Levine and Chief Customer Officer Madden Gatt. Fireblocks hired a new Chief Marketing Officer, Michael Ferguson, from cybersecurity platform Snike. The move comes after the recent addition of a new CFO and Chief Customer Officer. The custody tech firm isn't in a rush to take the company public. Cryptocurrency custody specialist Fireblocks is continuing to build out its executive team by hiring a new chief marketing officer, Michael Ferguson, as the firm prepares for a bull market-powered onboarding of retail and institutional customers this year. Ferguson joins Fireblocks from cybersecurity platforms Nike on the heels of other key additions, including Michael Levine from Payoneer Nasdaq, Payo as CFO and Madden Gad, formerly of FIS, as chief customer officer. Prior to the downturn of the past couple of years, crypto-native firms expanded with ease, commanding high valuations in the process. For instance, Fireblocks, in early 2022, raised $550 million at an $8 billion valuation. The firm has been making significant hires over the past 12 months in anticipation of a sturdy growth trajectory returning to crypto, said Fireblocks CEO Michael Shalov. We didn't know exactly when the market would start expanding again but it was clear to us it would happen sooner or later, Shalov said in an interview. Our mission in supporting crypto is not around where the price of Bitcoin is going to be, but the underlying usage of crypto rails for payments, tokenization, and big brands. Beefing up the C-suite, particularly the addition of a CFO from a big U.S. listed fintech, might suggest Fireblocks has its goal set on appealing to the public markets in the future, as the likes of Circle and possibly Galaxy may hope to soon do. Shalov pointed out that Fireblocks is very well funded with most of the money raised still in reserve, but said he will be watching other crypto firms looking to list in the U.S. closely. It's reasonable that we will see more crypto companies that have the right financials IPO. We don't have any urgency to do it, but it's definitely something from an optionality standpoint we will be looking at, not this year, but maybe in two years or three years or something like that.